The award seeks to straddle the boundary of traditional architecture and the discipline itself. Do you see strands of this in your work? I mean, you know, the project has been uh, a really big group effort, uh, you know, involving a lot of different architects, stakeholders, governmental entities. Uh, and it's what's been really interesting about it is that it's been a group effort through architecture and through the belief really that architecture has an added value, you know, beyond just, you know, the functional aspects of what it brings to a city. No, uh, ever since I started, uh, I, I got involved in uh, working as an architect in the profession of architecture. Uh, I was always uh, driven by this uh, idea that innovation based on learning from tradition uh, is something that uh, what we can call progress. I mean, we, we can reject 100% of things and try to create something very new which didn't exist before. But I don't think that that kind of thing exists. So I am not in favor of copying if you can improve, if you can make things better. Bon, pour nous, ce qui, est, ce qui, est, ce qui était vraiment important dans notre, dans notre démarche, c'est euh, ne pas concevoir un bâtiment à l'origine pour euh, nous retrouver avec une belle architecture, mais plutôt que euh, l'analyse qu'on a fait du contexte nous permet d'apporter une réponse qui euh, aboutisse à une belle architecture. Mais c'est pas euh, l'origine de, de notre démarche n'était pas de rechercher une belle architecture. The challenges of climate change are immediate. Does your work or project encounter and respond to that? I, I think the issue of climate change and sustainability is, is underlying in all the work that we do. You know, first of all, the idea of reinvesting the existing urban fabric rather than building new, reusing buildings for different purposes instead of building new ones. Um, and then, you know, in the more architectural aspect, minimizing as much as possible the need for uh, cooling, uh, um, mechanical ventilation and so on by relying on as much as possible um, the local and vernacular cooling methods um, is underlying in all of the work that we've done on this project. Uh, very much so, very much so, because we are going, uh, I mean, uh, the way things are being predicted, we are going to experience uh, a big change in our landscape, uh, in our environment. And uh, water is one of them. It's also the rising temperature and uh, uh, how uh, we are going to adapt to that condition. But water is one that with the rising water, many of our land may get submerged, more floods may occur. So we must devise uh, a strategy for that future. I'm not saying that we have a solution here, but what I'm saying that we have a thinking that is uh, been initiated, that yes, let's, let's find out how we can uh, uh, develop a response to that condition. Let, let's start thinking about it. Alors, évidemment, on a pris en compte les, euh, le réchauffement climatique et surtout euh, au Sénégal, qui est d'autant plus accusé, puisque au Sénégal, il n'y a pas la même disponibilité d'énergie qu'on peut retrouver en Europe. Donc, euh, notre démarche est vraiment double. Euh, D'une part, on a recherché un bâtiment qui nous permette un minimum de consommation énergétique possible, Hein, et euh, voire même jusqu'à la consommation zéro, puisque le bâtiment peut fonctionner en absence d'énergie. Donc pour nous, la démarche climatique, c'était euh, vraiment l'essentiel de notre démarche, surtout pour aboutir au confort des usagers. Innovation is often coupled with difficult. How do you bring innovation into your work and project? I think, you know, difficulty um, is, is intrinsic to the work that you do uh, in architecture when you're pushing boundaries. 
But what's really rewarding about it is what's difficult on, you know, on the first project that you do becomes common pr practice on the following project that you do. And through that, you know, you build knowledge, you reinforce, uh, uh, you know, the technical know-how of the people that you work with locally and you build, um, you know, be better methods for the future. Alors l'innovation dans ce projet, euh, c'est surtout euh, la recherche euh, d'utilisation de matériaux locaux, euh, mais en, en utilisant des solutions qui sont quelque part technologiques et sans recours à l'importation de, de matériaux. It is said all great projects have great clients. What qualities do you seek in your clients? No, I, I think that any architecture, I mean, uh, that we consider worthy of talking about and everything. It's, it's not only an architect's work. It, 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 the client is very much involved and it's not possible without a good client. We may have a lot of brilliant ideas. We can put it in papers, we can talk about it. But at the end, if we want to get it realized, we need a client. So in this particular project, I would say the client has wholeheartedly participated in this uh, project which uh, there was no precedence for them to look at that okay this is how so without them I wouldn't have been able to uh, do this project. Alors les qualités de, de ce qu'on a apprécié le plus de notre client c'est que c'est qu'il nous a permis de, de faire un travail ensemble pendant toute la phase de conception. Donc ils ont été très 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 ouverts, euh, ils, ont, euh, ils ont bien on a accepté les, euh, les démarches ou les principes ou les objectifs du projet dès le début. Et c'est ce travail qu'on a fait ensemble, parce qu'on a eu des réunions, on a fait des croquis ensemble, on a dessiné le bâtiment ensemble. Et on a essayé de, justement de les impliquer dans toute la phase de, de conception. C'est quelque chose qui les a surpris parce qu'ils n'ont pas l'habitude de, de ce genre de démarche. What aspect of your project would benefit from further research? I mean, I think in conservation in general, you know, there's a really interesting intersection between um, research that's being done in introducing new technologies that could maybe help uh, in minimizing, um, you know, the work that you actually need to do on the traditional structures to be able to uh, safeguard them. Um, and I think that there's a lot of further technological innovation that is to be found so that we're able to make sure that these buildings, uh, you know, can transition and be used for the next 50, 100 years, hopefully. I think uh, one is to uh, have more of the engineering of the whole thing that how, uh, because we have a very basic engineering working here. If, if, if we could have a bit, little bit of a developed engineering about uh, how to calculate uh, all the uh, conditions that the structure will uh, encounter, how to develop, and also post-construction maintenance. Alors, les améliorations qu'on aurait, qu aurait bien aimé mettre en place, c'est surtout euh, pousser beaucoup plus la réutilisation de l'eau. Euh, ce qu'on aurait souhaité, mais on n'a pas eu le budget pour les faire, euh, ça aurait été de, de créer des bâches de stockage des eaux pluviales euh, de très grande capacité qui nous permettent euh, justement d'augmenter de, de, la capacité d'arrosage et euh, d'augmenter la végétalisation de, de, de l'entourage. What impact would winning the award have on your practice? Awards are, are, are a great thing. They, they, uh, I think when you work, they're never the motivation behind the work, but they're the consequence of all the efforts that you, that you put in. And I think that, you know, receiving an award obviously is a great thing because it gives a, a confirmation and further motivation um, to what you're doing. When you put some effort in something that you very much believe and you are committed to uh, any recognition is a is an encouragement towards that and i will consider that uh, the way i have been working uh, in bangladesh the things that i have been trying to uh, uh, do and uh, i i have uh, taken challenges and uh, if, if the award 
uh, considers uh, this project as uh, worthy of uh, notice that this is something uh, that uh, uh, has something to communicate, something to... Uh, it, it will obviously be a happy uh, news and I think it will be a big encouragement for me and also for others who would like to think like this. Hello. Bien sûr, on aimerait bien gagner ce prix, mais euh, pas pour nous, pour l'université. Euh, ce qui est important euh, pour ce prix-là, surtout si, euh, si on le gagne, c'est euh, surtout donner exemple de cette démarche bioclimatique euh, et d'architecture adaptée au contexte au Sénégal. Pour nous, ça serait la plus grande satisfaction, c'est que euh, ce bâtiment-là ou cette démarche, elle soit, euh, elle soit copiée, qu'elle soit euh, exportée dans tout le pays.